What's up guys and girls, uh, welcome to House of Blazers. This is a really quick video uh, just to demonstrate because the questions being asked is Lightburn going to be more stable and better than EasyCAD and can it process things that EasyCAD would basically hang up on. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring in a very complicated graphic at a thousand DPI. I'm going to bring in the Mayan calendar. It's going to take a second just because it is a thousand dpi picture and this uh, macbook air which we are running the mac and sending it over to either a jpt source or a uh, reka source um, with no issues so here we have a thousand dpi mayan calendar uh, i selected the image i'm going to do my option t for trace and this whole process should take probably less than five minutes if you weren't talking people through it um, so I have a good trace. All of my bits and pieces are outlined. Uh, click OK. I will pull this aside and I downloaded this from, um, I have Adobe um, stock. All right, that ungroup it. All right, so now we have just the graphic. I will resize it. I'm going to Command G and regroup it. And I'm going to bring it down to two inches. I'm going to center it. And right now it's set to fill. Um, let me just adjust my settings real quick. I'm in inches um, as opposed to millimeters. So those of you who hate inches, I apologize. Um, so we're going to do a quick line and a fill. So I'm going to copy this, paste in place. So now we have two images on top of each other. So I have this graphic uh, repeated, and that won't, uh, I don't think you'll have to do that on the final version of Galvo Lightburn. Um, but right now, the, uh, the option to create um, basically different hatches within one uh, one palette color isn't there, but that's okay. It, by the time it is released to the public, uh, everything should function better than EasyCAD was ever meant to, to function. I'm going to turn down my power, 20% power, 30 speed. Okay, so in theory, we should be sending this over as a cut line first, fill line second. Um, on my fill line, I am running a 0 .002 interval with a crosshatch um, at 45 degrees. Okay. We're going to frame it and make sure it's over there. As well as you have bounds, the hull, and contour. So we have multiple options to align your work on your piece, which makes it super easy. And... Uh, so much more user-friendly than, than EasyCAD. Um, let's go over there and let's make sure. Okay, it is there. We are working with a Thunder Laser Aurora 20 watt Rakus. Um, I will hit start. So no issues, no delays. Everything is moving quite fast. And in EasyCAD, um, it would be very difficult for it to process all of these closed shapes now it should run the second. So here we are at five minutes and I've downloaded 
converted and sent and are almost done with this project. I don't think that would ever be possible in easy guys. We'd still be waiting for it to figure out what the hell was going on with all of these graphics. And again, this is a Thunder Laser Aurora 20 watt Reka source. With an amazing autofocus, by the way. It's doing the, the line afterward. That's my fault. A little bit too much power on my end, but you get the idea. We didn't need to run these lines. It was gonna look perfect anyway, but I kind of wanted you to see how quickly it would process all of the processes uh, that you would typically do in EasyCAD. Again, light burn for the win. These guys create some super badass shit. All right, guys, enjoy. I can't wait for it to come out and be available to the public. Uh, and we'll be doing a bunch of videos on it. Thanks.